think it's really important to have conferences like this because when I graduated from San Jose State 23 years ago, we had, I mean, most of the classes that I was taking had about 35 students, maybe five women, and I was really disappointed to hear that that statistic after 23 years really hasn't changed and moved the needle. We need to give women, especially young women who are in school, the opportunity to network and to meet other women who've made it, to understand what it takes to make it in a field um, like computer science or computer engineering. I'd love to have more and more girls and women think about careers in STEM. Uh, when I think about what it means to have a career that's based on their engineering or technical skills, it's really about solving the largest problems we have in the world, bringing a diverse perspective into the situation and figuring out a way to solve them, to be innovative, to think about it differently, to bring a side of experiences and, uh, and background that could really help us get a different perspective. The largest challenge that women face in a field like computer science is they're still a minority. There is a lot of unconscious bias in the workplace or even in classrooms. Um, I unfortunately remember the time when I was a student in, uh, in computer engineering where a professor actually told me in my class that I just wasn't a good fit for this profession. That was within, within this, this day and age. And uh, one of the biggest stigma for women is to be able to uh, really use the, uh, their uh, educational background to go and um, show that they're capable of doing everything that a man is and more. Um, one way to overcome the challenges uh, that women face today in, in the workplace especially is to speak up to have your own tribe, to make sure you know who your mentors and your sponsors and your champions are and build those relationships and build a network. Don't be afraid to ask tough questions. Ask for what you deserve. Go and raise your hand for that new job even if you only have 60 or 70% of the experience. Be the first one to raise the hand when a new opportunity comes up every time, every day. My advice for women going into computer science or computer, computer engineering is um, have a learning mindset. Really focus on learning, not just from the classes that you're taking, but really um, networking with the people around you, taking advantage of the alumni association in the school, talking to uh, people, especially women, who are in the industry about what they're doing, what are the things, what are the new technologies and trends that are coming up, what new markets should they be thinking about. So have a learning mindset. Secondly, be very persistent and clear on having goals. Establish goals and then come up with a plan on going after uh, achieving the goals that you set for yourself.